Hello physical fiends, it's Jordan here with a video about some decent physical discounts that I've seen. Nothing that should make your pants explode, but something, you know, worth thinking about. It's a mix of both Western releases and imports. All purchase links are below if you want to support me and I thank you kindly. The first bunch of games are from Video Games Plus, where you can get free shipping worldwide over 80 Canadian dollars, which is about 60 American dollars. Plus, you get a chance of winning a $10 discount code each week if you use my link to buy something. I announce the winner every Monday over on Switch Watch. If you check their website, they have prices in Canadian dollars, but I will be converting them to US dollars for this video. Firstly, Cuphead, which is 22 US dollars. That's an amazing price for one of the best run and gun experiences that you can get. An absolute visual treat that I don't think will ever be surpassed in terms of the animation. Everything about this game is absolutely top notch and $22 for a physical copy, which includes a DLC by the way, that is a very good price. Neon White is also 22 US dollars. And this is a game that was an indie darling when it released last September. If you've been waiting for a decent price, then now is a good time to jump on board since that's like almost half the price it initially released at. It's a highly rated first person action game with countless amounts of style. Unsold is 15 US dollars, which is really cheap. This is a top down action game, perhaps looking a little on the generic side, not only in name, but visually too. It's not standing out much by itself, and that's why it's probably so discounted. But apparently, this game is more than just attacking and dodging, it has a far more elaborate control scheme than is usually seen in the genre. Spiritfarer ever a classic, this is often bargain bin territory, like digitally, always super cheap, and I think the physical version has been around this cheap before, maybe even cheaper, but still, 22 US dollars, good price for a beautiful emotional game that will make you remember that you actually have a heart. The Pathless isn't talked about much, and this is also 22 US dollars. This is from the same team as the diving game called Abzu, but this is like completely different. It's an adventure exploration game with you as an archer zipping around an open world and fighting demons. Reminds me a bit of Princess Mononoke, I think, something like that, and it's a good price to give it a try. Okay, the next two I wasn't sure if I should include as a bargain, but uh, you can make your own minds up, okay? Metal Gear Solid Collection, the Master Collection Volume 1, may be a bit controversial because most of it is download required bullshittery. It's a bit pants, but if you can stomach just having the first main game and some retro titles on the cartridge and needing to download 2 and 3, I think, you know, $29 is not a bad jumping in price. It's certainly cheaper than buying them digitally. It's not been as cheap as this. So yeah, I don't think it's a bad price as long as you don't mind the download. Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster is $80 for the Asian version, of course, which is not a bargain in any universe. However, hear me out. Firstly, that's about the best price that you'll get anywhere, plus you get instant free worldwide shipping, which you won't find anywhere else unless you buy more than this. Like Play Asia, it doesn't qualify for free shipping unless you buy another thing, so it may be worth thinking about. And technically, this one isn't even discounted, it's a restock of a sought-after game. Legend of Heroes Trails to Azure. The Deluxe Edition is back in stock and at a normal price. No need to pay scalpers an extra 20 bucks. This comes with all the goodies and until stocks last, it also has free shipping worldwide. Yeah, it has instant free shipping even though it's just below the threshold. That's very nice of them. If you've been on the lookout for this, well, now's the time to jump on board. All right, let's move on to Play Asia. Some import exclusives and some general releases that I think they have a good price for. They have a lot of cheap stuff over there right now that I mentioned pretty recently, so I'll try not to repeat myself. Go have a browse and you might find something else. And remember, you should still be able to get 5% off with the code JORDAN24. Okami, $24 is a really nice price for one of the best games ever made, right? If you're missing classic 3D Zelda with dungeons and stuff like that, well, this is your remedy. It has been cheaper than this before. I remember it being discounted to like $20. So yeah, maybe you want to wait again for that. But you know, even then, I'm pretty sure like almost all of you own this already because why wouldn't you? It's Okami. It's amazing. 
The Phoenix Wright Trilogy is $26 US dollars, not the biggest saving, but these are three of the best mystery adventure games ever made and probably the best versions of them, at least in my opinion, perfect on the Nintendo Switch. And if you already own the other games in the series, which did get a Western physical, then finishing the collection off with the OG games, that's a must. These are amazing. Citizens Unite, I've mentioned this before, but $11, it needs to be repeated. If you enjoy like the Mario and Luigi RPGs, a bit of Earthbound, this is a great package. It's a hell of a lot of content for 11 bucks, and this is a Japanese version, by the way, but it plays in English. Pokemon Shining Pearl is 11 US dollars, which is kind of crazy to think about. Remember when Pokemon games used to hold their value or even increase? Well, not this one. $11 for the Chinese version, which plays in English. And I know the physical isn't in the best state because it doesn't have like credit sequence or the intro without an update, but still, it's the cheapest way you'll ever get to play Pokemon. And I think as crazy as it sounds, these might be my favorite Pokemon games on the Switch, and I played all of them apart from The Legend Arceus, so uh, yeah. Katana Kami, $16. Again, I mentioned it before, but it's worth repeating just because of how good of a deal it is. Action RPG dungeon crawling in the Way of the Samurai series, great price. Serial Cleaners, again, $13. It's one of those prices that you'll kick yourself for missing in the future if you're more of a hardcore collector. Maybe casual collectors, you know, you won't get this import exclusive because it's not the kind of import exclusive people go for. It's not an anime RPG, but I still think it's a good price. Lyrica 1 and 2 double pack. I've mentioned this before as well, but I only mentioned the standard edition because now the collector's edition is discounted too. Just 22 US dollars, which is really cheap considering the original price. I actually have this, the publisher sent it to me, and it is good. It helps the game is awesome too. If you like rhythm games, yes, it's a really good rhythm game. Indivisible, the Japanese version, which does play in English, is just $16, which is a super good price for this 2D platformer slash JRPG. Very nice animation. Maybe the gameplay doesn't match the looks, but I still think it's worth a pop for that price. Chaos Head slash Noah, the European version at Play Asia is just $24. I jumped on that faster than I could hit the buy button. Two great sci fi visual novels and comes with a steel book. Oh, yes. I was really excited to see this price, and I wish other games in the series came this low because I would eat them up. As I say, have a browse. Both VGP and Play Asia have a lot of other nice stuff too that I may have mentioned before, like, you know, Play Asia exclusives being cheap, VGP having ultra cheap Persona 5 stuff. Definitely worth the price, just not worth me repeating myself. Go have a look with the links in the description. And if you purchase anything with the links, I do kindly thank you from the bottom of my heart. I hope you're all having a good weekend, and I hope you don't get hit by a car while staring up at the Northern Lights. I'm just jealous I can't see them. All right, I want to see them. They look so beautiful.